Hi guys, welcome back to Factorio. So I have plugged in uh, the last 20 steam engines. So our power capacity, I think is like 120 megawatts. Uh, so that's good. Uh, the second thing is I've upgraded most of the lines and most of the time it's two flamethrower turrets. Uh, just to give you an idea, two flamethrower turrets, two flamethrower turrets. This one doesn't have two because uh, it's more of like a corner one. I might have to just upgrade that one completely. Uh, two flamethrower turrets. They're also taking a bit of damage, uh, but there's nothing I can do about that at the moment. Um, I also have 20 more, because I actually didn't upgrade anything down here. The other problem is, there's a lot of nests here, um, but we also have a lot of turrets now, um, so that's good. So we're just going to basically put in most of our turrets into these machines. Um, we don't need that many, just need a few. So this will just continue to make things, and we don't have to worry about it. Also put some of the ammunition away into here, because we actually don't need a lot of that either. Uh, well, maybe we need a little bit of that, but that's fine. Also, the batteries is not something that we need either, so we'll just put that into one of these machines either. Just kind of doing some clerical work and getting rid of some of the garbage that I have. Um, so for the most part, we've retired the use of our other machines, but this is also going to up upgrade... Uh, the. While we're not using as much, um, as much iron, we are using a great deal more of, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, we're using a great deal more uh, uh, power, which uh, is also uh, pollution. Uh, there's nothing we can do, we just have to do that. And I also forgot this, I, I, I plugged this in differently now. So, just to kind of making sure I did everything correctly. Um, so that's one. That's the first problem. The second problem is we need to tap into iron like now, because we are actually completely using all of these. Now at the moment it may look like hey it's completely saturated, but that's not going to last long. So we either tap into this one or we tap into this one, and guess what? That means we have to actually go into trains. Um, I was hoping to get the wall done before the trains, but uh, I think we're going to need a train first. I actually don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to get around that. So that's what we're doing right now. Uh, I'm just looking for where my fucking car is. It's over there. So um, for this one, we're just going to do a little bit more upgrading and then probably just going to combat some nests. Um, and then we're going to do a train. We're actually going to make a freaking train. And I'm actually not very pleased about that because last time I did this, I was actually able to make the wall around the base before kind of making trains and venturing out. Uh, but it looks like it's not a possibility, which is why you see me filling this thing up with stone. I think we're actually good now. So actually, I don't think it needs any more. So these are almost done as well. So let's go down there and get it. So, I mean, we have lots of walls, but it's just, uh, we don't have enough of anything else. So, at least now we have enough, uh, steam engines to do whatever we need to. Fuck. I hit the pole a little bit. It's okay, it's not the first thing or the last thing I'll hit. Uh, as I said that, I literally hit something over here. Alright, so we're going to just go through a little oil fields here. So, I guess they are continuing to come over here. I was actually going to not make anything here because I thought that they wouldn't actually come over here. But apparently they found a blind spot, so we're going to have to go and make some uh, things over here. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot though coming over here. So, fundamentally, yeah. Um, it's kind of what we need. Yeah, so this is a problem right here. Um, the biters make me anxious, so let's fucking kill them. So we'll do something like this. This, this does mean, like, I get, like, so many turrets and stuff because of the fact I'm retiring a lot of the turrets that I had before. But, you know, it's still not great. And this is not a permanent solution, not by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it's quite temporary. Everything is very temporary, but, like, the problem is we're on such a tight time schedule right now to, uh, to, to get all our uh, turrets up and stuff that, like, I just have to do things like this. All right, so uh, where'd my car go? Okay, car's right here. So we're gonna kill a bunch of these nests. 
um, real quick. Because, like, look at our pollution cloud. It's fucking disgusting. But luckily, the, there is actually a really good source of pollution absorption in this game, and it's called uh, biters. Biter nests will absorb pollution pretty well, actually. So that's good for us. All right. Uh, can I just trigger them to attack right now? Can you guys, can you guys just come over here? I, I'm, I'm, like, I'm tired of waiting for you assholes. Oh my god, there's like another group already. Yeah, just come over here. Oh god, the car's almost dead. Alright, let's just go over here and repair our car. So, uh, yeah, this is... Um, it's honestly a miracle that I'm, I've been able to make it this far, anyways. I, I feel like every 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 time, like we're we're just right on the brink of losing, honestly. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Fuck, there, there's just more here. Whatever. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Let's just get like a group of them to follow me around. Oh my god. Like this is why we have to deal with all of this. Maybe I'll just walk over here with my man. Okay. Yeah, they, they, they're they still aggroed onto me. Okay, we can't stay here with the car. I would prefer if the car did not catch fire. Alright. This is what we're gonna do. We're make, gonna make some turrets, like, right here, and we're gonna push in. So as you can see, the um, uh, the turrets are not particularly effective against uh, these biters anymore. They're just not very good at them, but this is uh, all we have right now of dealing with this. So we're going to just take out some of these nests. Particularly the ones like down here are particularly bad. See here. Fuck. That is a big fucking worm. Oh my god. That's uh we've now reached that stage. Okay. So there's ginormous frickin' worms everywhere. Good times. Um so I kinda just dealt with this guy, and I'll get this down here and then uh and then we'll progress somewhere else. So this, uh, they're not as much in the pollution clouds, so we should be much better off now. Uh, hello. Oh, really? Not in range of this? Oh, shit. Uh, uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run the fuck away. Hey. Come to the flamethrower turrets. There you go. So, cleanup is something we still have to do. What's evolution at? Uh, 55. Uh, pollution's a good deal of it, but yeah. Okay, we're gonna go down here. So, once again... Just accepted the fact that we're gonna just basically run right straight into vitals. And to kill their nests. As you can see, like, it's just, uh, the, the spawner kills don't really matter to me this much. Um, we want to kill that one, too. That's a good question. What do we finish? Flight. Oh, yeah, we've, we're doing uh, bots now. Uh, bots are pretty good. Um, but we need robotics for that. They're actually kind of valuable to us. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm, I'm really fucking lazy, so uh, this is obviously a good idea. Definitely try us at home, kids. So yeah, we're just gonna kill this nest look like that. And his friend will die too. Alright, that's pretty good. Um, so once in a while we'll have to go around the base and around the perimeter and kinda just have a look, but... Uh, this is already much better than I was before. I still have a, a good amount of ammo too. So I'll put down this one here. Swap them. Okay, I can. All right, let's get the car out. Because, like I said, they, uh... 
I like to do this shit. We're gonna get this nest next. Alright, let's just go over here. Once again, I'm just gonna walk into the center of them and I'll I'll see how this turns out for me. This is a, this is an extremely good idea. It's like honestly one of the best ideas I've ever had. It's really not actually. Usually I clear them out with other stuff, but turrets are just like the best. Like this, I don't know of any other way of doing this honestly. Alright. Most of the turrets we have are are very wounded, so actually we might have to take a break and uh, repair these all. I'm just gonna have a look. Oh, here we go, another nest. This one has to be dealt with. All right, so. Yeah, these are all wounded, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can we make more of these? No, we don't have steel plates with us. All right, let's see. Oh shit, fucking piece of shit. This is just before I fucking repaired them all too. I'm a sad boy right now. All right, I actually saved it this time. Uh, and I've repaired them all, so we'll see how this goes. I may actually go build the wall first before I venture out and do train things. I don't know, man. It's it's tough. It's fucking tough, let me tell you. Because this may be a crippling mistake like that I make. Where was it? Oh, there it is. Right there. Alright, so we go here. We make a couple of these. We fill these up. Oops, I didn't even do that. Alright. Uh, this is the tough part. There's so many worms here, and I don't have many uh, things left for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to stuff, walk right into it, and die. All right. We actually may not be strong enough for this, uh, which is a problem. But I think if we do some turret creeping, I think it'll still be okay, actually. So we're going to have to give them something else to attack. Because if it's me, then it's bad. Um, the turrets can absorb a bit of damage. They're, they're strong, independent turrets. Um... But, like, it's actually gone a little bit, I think, past what I'm capable of dealing with at this stage in the game. Uh, this is why we still have the turrets. Uh, I'm gonna do something like this. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, yeah, they fucking hate me. Okay, I'm out of fucking fish, but that's okay. As long as they're not attacking me completely, they are. Okay, they fucking... They really don't like me. Like, I think this is just one of those unfortunate situations where it spawned, like, a shit ton of them all in one place. Um, like, the worms are ridiculous. And it's not just... It's not evolution factor. That one's just a really fucking bad one. So, we're gonna have to figure out what to do with that one. Because, like, it's, it's in the way. It can't be there. There's another one here too. My god. Thing is, we don't have tools to deal with that at the moment, but we have to deal with them. Look. Uh, I mean, just, I'm gonna just eat some fish and fucking, like, absorb through all the shit that they have. Because, I mean, it's just that uh, th there is some military text that may help a little bit later, but oh my god. Alright. But these are, like, these, this is just requiring so much resources out of me to do deal with, so... Usually later on we have other solutions for... Fuck, let's get out of the way. Let's just eat a bunch of fish. We're gonna do the fish strat. Fish strat is the best strat. And, I mean, the only one that we really can do at this stage in the game. But I think I'm gonna see if I can get the wall going, uh, which is not something I want to do, but we have to do it. But let's deal with these nests first, because the nests being there is a huge problem. 
I get this guy? No. How many fish do I have? I have 28, actually. That's good enough. So these couple of nests need to go, actually. They need to they need to fuck off. They need to not be here. Um, the other thing is we need we need a great deal more turrets, but that's actually a good amount of turrets actually we have going. Because as as we build the wall, we're gonna not need as many turrets, actually. Um, and it's gonna it's gonna deal with our problems very nicely. But those are the ones that need to go. They they are in the way. They're a huge issue. So uh, I guess this episode is gonna be mostly spent on that. Which is clearing out late game. This is not late game, this is technically mid game nests, but we have better things for this later. It's just the the fact that they have worms in them is ridiculous. I don't have enough uh, piercing rounds. I don't have enough ammo, actually. Let's go get some more ammo. Cause I, I couldn't I couldn't just fill in the turrets with this stuff. How much more do I have here? I have a couple more rounds. Weirdly enough, we have to still make a little bit of armor piercing rounds. The thing is that's like two hundred steel per thing, like honestly. Turret got destroyed. What the fuck are you guys doing here? No, my turrets. They have ammo on them. A bunch of jerks. Do I have a, did my car get destroyed? No, the car is actually perfectly fine. Apparently they, they don't give a shit about automobiles. Let that be less new. Your your car does not pollute enough to make biters uh, attack. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, see, this one just like is like the mother load of 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 uh, worms in in this area. It's actually uncharacteristic for bases to do shit like this, and it's a problem for me. So, all right, let's get in there and make some friends. Oh my god, that's so many big ones! Oh my god. There's too many in there. I just have to eat through all this stuff. Fuck, okay, I didn't mean to do that. I'm, I'm trying to press the button to to put in half of my stack in there. And if I put in all, all in, it's really bad. I, that's too much. They all hit me at once. This, this is like the worst spawn I could have ever imagined happening. Okay, let's let what from to fucking attack something else. Let's bring some more up here. Eat some more fucking shit. Giant fucking worms, like all over the place. Go, go away. You're not welcome here. Go home. And there's another attack coming. Okay, maybe we're gonna have to wait for that attack first, because that's the most unfortunate attack I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh my god. This is this is actually just a matter of that's extremely unlucky that it it, it spawned all this crap. Alright, here they are. Alright, come on over, fellas. Yeah, fuck you too. Come here. Alright, say hello to my little friend. Alright. Fuck. See if I if I if I advance too much, they all hit me at once and then I'm dead. Okay, I actually for some reason I I used up a bunch of like really shitty ones actually. So we have to use the really good ones. Okay.
By the way, they auto aim, so you can't just like okay, yeah, they auto aim onto you, so when they when they lock onto you, it like they hit you no matter what. Okay, let's do this. This is my fucking party place. Yeah, fuck you assholes. Get out of my fucking neighborhood. Okay, we actually ran out of ammunition for this because... I'm, here's the thing, I'm putting in a hundred stacks of this stuff. Um, and so when they die with the ammunition inside of them, uh, it's not good for all of us. Like... This is dumb, but I have to do this. Because they do so much damage, and I do not have the tool set to deal with this. Oh my god. Uh, difficulty, guys. Artificial difficulty. They love me so much, and I love them too. Yeah, I don't know if I can do this. Like, I keep I keep coming at it, but... So basically, I have to, like, I have to eat through most of this. Fuck. Oh my god. This is, like, the worst shit imaginable. Yeah, because, like, if I if I advance so far, these ones in the back hit me, too. It's so dumb. I, I, I actually don't think I really have a solution for... Actually, you know what? I have a solution for this. I have I have just a solution. See the thing the the way this works is it doesn't matter as long as we kill the nests, right? I think I could just edge out the nests. Oh, but I died anyways. All right, maybe, here's what we'll do. I have an idea. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit them right over here. If we kill the nests, I don't have to fucking care about the rest of it because as long as they're not spawning anything, it doesn't it doesn't matter to me. We're just gonna we're gonna get the nest and we're just gonna leave these guys here. They're just gonna be my friends. Okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be a zoo. It's gonna be a fuck. There's gonna be a fucking quarantine zone. It's this is it. The, this is the erected quarantine zone, guys. Oh shit! He's actually not dead. Alright, here's a this is the erected quarantine zone now, fellas. So they're not gonna spawn anything else. Um I don't know how the game treats it as to, uh, in terms of like a uh, um, a candidate for uh, uh expansion, but you know what? Fuck it, we're done with it. I, I, I've literally spent like ten minutes trying to take out that nest and uh so yeah, we we, we now have our very first arachnid quarantine zone. Excellent. Good fucking times. All right, so now we need to deal with uh, the jerks up here. Oh yeah, yeah. Hello. So flamethrowers work really nicely with um, everything. So fucking bugs. Okay, I didn't make enough turrets. Okay, I fucked this up, like, royally. Alright, it took me a couple attempts, but I did manage it. Uh, here, let me just get them to fucking attack. Hey, guys. Hey, fellas. Come over here. See how see what the flamethrower is all about. You know, whenever I see, like, a, a, a turret with 100 rounds die, you know, it's, like, fl literally flushing. Like, how much is it? Like, 100 bars of steel just down the toilet. Like, just like that. So basically, I, I don't know. I, I don't fucking want that ever. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do turrets right here. Hey guys. So I've now gotten to my stage where I just don't like that happening. And I know you can't see shit, but yeah, you see, like, like every time that something dies with the steel in it. Uh, let's see here. Do I have more? I have more repair packs. So let's do that real quick. 
Because it's like, I just feel like all of this shit is just flushing resources just right down the toilet. I hate that so much. That feeling, man. Okay, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna put down a couple of these things. If I fucking couldn't do it, I don't actually don't have enough ammunition with me anymore. It's actually the worst feeling in the world. We just need to actually just deal with that right now. I need more ammo now. I'll put it back in, don't worry. Relax, guys. I, I, I cannot wait for the day I don't have to use these stupid turrets anymore. I hate them so much. I don't even know. What we're gonna do? We're gonna put a nice thing up here. That's why flamethrower would actually be probably in our best interest, because flamethrowers uh, are slightly more forgiving. So use like the slightly more wounded ones. Uh. Yeah, there you go. Another thing died with ammunition. Right? Holy shit. I'm from Buenos Aires. I say fucking kill them all. And they're, they're just still more there. That's the problem. Like, it's an insane amount of them. Fuck it. Alright, this is dumb as fuck. Just, it's because it's one of their spawn points, so they're they're just there. So here we go, we just fucking aggro them in. Can we even make it past this? Alright. Go up here. Whatever, we're gonna just go right here, we're gonna fucking spawn a bunch here, we're gonna do this, and we're probably gonna die. We may need a better solution for us. You know what? I'm gonna do some turret creeping. Fuck this shit, actually. I've I've just given up on these guys. So we're gonna you're gonna see what the end game solution to, for these guys is. Um It's to do things like this. How far up are they? Where's my laser turrets? Laser tur- oh god. Uh, that's a lot of fucking shit here. Hey, you guys come right here. Why do they hate me so much? I'm polluting their air. Definitely can't be because of that. So, you'll see the end game solution for dealing with the biters here. What the fuck is it with all this? Am I- how close am I? Yeah, we actually ran out of armor too, so that's also not good. Yeah, this is what we do, actually. We do this. Although I, I just can't see shit right now. I won't lie. So we can actually just pop some grenades out. We actually don't want to lose these, because it's like 20 fucking years of... Uh, Oh shit. Okay, yeah, we need some kind of armor actually. Maybe not. I'll just eat through it all. <laughs> oh my god. Shit. Well, we lost one, but that's okay. You know what? That's fine. All right, I'm 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 done with this. I'm 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 actually like I'm physically done. Like I don't want to do this anymore. Right here. Like I'm I'm so sick and tired of dealing with these nests. But they're near me, so I have to do something about it. We're going to build the wall and we're going to build it like now. Um So yeah, let's get that going. I uh, I've decided wall first. If I if I can't build if I, I I can't be doing these nests all the time. This is fucking irritating. So here we go. All right, so uh, in order to incorporate the wall uh, construction, uh, something is going to be needed, and it's called um, it's called blue science. Blue science is a real bitch. So.
So, we get started on that immediately. So, what do we need for blue science, you ask? Well, a lot of things, but you know, that's, we'll get there in a sec. All right, just kind of start it over here, I don't care. So, blue science is what I consider to be kind of the, the later parts in the game. Kind of steely. Um, let's do construction bots. So I'm completely done with this now. Um, Alright, so... This is the literally awful part of this game. Oh shit, I don't want to hit that. Actually, get back here. Uh, we need to kind of do this a little bit better though, actually. I don't know how to do this though. So the thing, the, the reason why, uh, the reason why that kind of science is so fucking awful, is because it requires a good deal of stuff that we don't want to use. So it requires advanced circuits. We already did that. We already know how to make engine units. Um, but the only other thing is now um, electric mining drills. So those are a pain in the butt. Um, so luckily, it's it seems here. So it says like, uh, so every. You need every, so remember one per second, you need 12 things making engine units. Uh, sorry, you need tw 12 uh, assembly machines making science pack threes. Your fucking problem. Oh, good. It's probably another nest right there, but that's fine. You know, we're gonna, we're not gonna do, we're not gonna deal with that anymore. We're done. Um, you need 12 things making science pack threes. So that's kind of an issue. Um, first thing. Second thing is, yeah, you just need a shit ton of things making everything, so. I'm trying to debate the best way of doing this, and uh, I think the best way of doing this is going to be something like 5, 6, 2, 3, maybe something like this. So this will, it's, this will eventually make all the, the shit that we want for... We're, we don't need actually that much blue science right now, because... Uh, it requires so much resources that it's actually just dumb, so we're not going to make that many. We're just going to kind of work in at some, making it kind of like... Uh, uh, we're going to make half as much as we typically would need to. So we're going to basically really think about the things that we want to upgrade with the science. Um, particularly when it comes to things like... Because uh, it is a hungry mistress for all your resources. It's so bad. But we kind of need this to build the wall, and you'll see why. So we're going to make six. We're going to make six. So we're going to say here, uh, where's the, uh, did I run out of these things? I did run out of these things. All right. Cause I, I am just, I am right now just fucking had it up to like, who knows what with like this garbage in terms of like, uh, dealing with these biters. This is actually probably one of the unluckiest runs when it comes to biters I've ever had. Um, when I've done, out of all the death worlds I've ever done. Like, they're literally insane. They're all over my base. I, I, I can't deal with them, so. I'm not complaining. It's, it's, it's challenging. But, you know, it's the, kind of right now, it's kind of shitty kind of challenge, so. Um, yeah. So, let's see here. Um, so, first things first. We need to now... So, uh, the biggest p problem is actually electric mine drills. So it requires 10 iron gears, 20 iron plates. Uh, do the math, it's really bad, the amount that you need. Um, what the fuck did I do here? Oh, okay. I know what I did here. Uh, the amount that you need is actually just retardo too much. So, what we're gonna do is take... That's that's the first thing that we need. Um, so it's like we need green chips, we need iron, uh, these things too, and then like it's gonna just come into here somewhere and then come into the line and then we're done with that. Um, we need iron plates too. We're bringing the iron from over here, so we can probably just redirect it kind of upward. So that's also fine. We need to eventually have it so that you can, we can actually make two of them. Um, so I don't, I don't know quite how to handle that. Two, three, maybe something like this. So this is, we're gonna just focus on having one for now uh, though, so. 
Like this is a, this is actually in terms of like my my favorite to least favorite parts of this game. This is actually one of my least favorite parts is handling this stupid crap. It's so bad actually. The amount of resources this requires from you. It's just, hey. So we got gears. We now need to bring some chips as well. All right. So that's it for that, and then when it offloads, I'm gonna kind of put them on the other side. Over here somewhere. Uh, fuck, just use the better one. I don't know, we can't just use the better one. I know we can, we just have to not suck. All right, so this is gonna take uh, a great deal of resources in. In fact, you, like, look at this, it doesn't even do like, it doesn't even fully saturate it because it's just so slow. So like the thing we might actually need is stack inserters. Congratulations, guys! You get to see some stack inserters. It's the only thing faster than uh, the other inserters. It takes four at a time, so it does it slightly faster. Apparently, not fast enough though. So, welcome to the wonderful world of these things. Uh, I need some iron plates. So, it is going to eat uh, so many resources, but. This is just the reality of what we have to deal with. We're going to do this instead. I think this is fast enough now. Yeah, it is. Okay, this is good. Probably can just do two blue blue ones on the other side as well. Because they're not, they're not actually like 100% fast, but they're pretty fast. There you go. So it's putting uh, electric drills on this side. And now we go take them over there. Why the hell do I have this thing here? Get it from down here or something. There you go, good enough. Because the wall could not possibly come up any slower than this. And I'm gonna be determined to actually get some blue science going before the end of this episode, because fucking hell. Alright, so... We gotta do something like this. All right, so that's that's number one. Uh, number two is we need some uh, red chips. So that's also easy to bring off the line. We've been making them this whole time. Oh, oh, we have. So that's pretty simple to bring bring over. Just do something like this. There you go, red chips now. So these things are now taking in any kinds of materials it needs, and now we need to do engine units. Uh, so this is uh, a little bit difficult. So yeah, that's why I did construction robots, by the way. So um, we're, we're actually, the, the end goal is we actually want to make a construction robots with a, um, with a construction, um, what's it called? Um, we want we want construction robots with a personal robo port, and this will build the wall for us. And uh, it'll be slow, and I'll fast forward a, a great deal of it. We're also gonna want some laser turret damage soon. But if we get the wall up with all the turrets and stuff behind the walls, uh, it means they can't expend into my territory. We have a heavily defended kind of wall kind of line around us. Um, and just generally things will be good then. Uh, then, then the game becomes a substantially easier, uh, because then we, we have like our base and then there, we're not getting hit constantly from the walls a lot. So, uh, well, from the temporary shit that I've made this entire time. So the thing we're actually looking for is we're looking for modular armor. Uh, that is the next stage of armor. And that's why I actually haven't made another pe uh, piece of armor. Cause we're just going to kind of work our way towards that. Um, like there will be little attacks all the time like this, but the problem is like you find the, they find these weird angles. You see, like this. This is why uh, a ginormous wall is actually necessary. We we need it to to do anything in this right now, and we already have twenty eight turrets. So that's pretty good. Um, but like yeah, that's kind of just like what we need to be doing right now. So to get um. To get the amount of engine use that we need for this, um, it's gonna basically be like we need half. So it's like I think it's like one every eight seconds they currently do, and then it has like two pipes it needs as well. 
So we need one line with gears, one line with steel plates, uh, five of them. So we need five. Um, actually, we can do something a little bit different, actually. We can just do something like this, because actually I can upgrade this later. We need five of these right now. Actually... Yeah, something like this. Like you see, they're, they're getting hit from all sides and it's just, it's not fun here, you know. And also the turrets also make it much easier to take out. The, the laser turrets with uh, the bots make it much easier to take out the nests as well. So it's, overall, it's just like, yeah, we need to kind of head in that direction. So, you know, it's kind of the way things are going to work. So we're going to make, uh, we're going to make this line come over here. And it will give me some. It'll give me some pipes here, so we don't need that. As I said, we're gonna work at basically half capacity, so we're not gonna do major research. We're just gonna do kind of what we can. Uh, so this is kind of. It's gonna. It's gonna be. This is like the one of the ugliest bases I've ever seen in my entire life, but. I mean, it's, it's been, as you can see, it's been like really touch and go and it's really the intensity of the biters has now kicked up to a point where it's like, we can't really just, we can't just all willy nilly just ignore all the, the, the crap that they keep doing. So, well, there's your, uh, there's your things here. We need five, uh, inserters here. Now we need to bring steel and gears and luckily they're both kind of in the same place. So that's kind of nice. Um, But yeah, yep, it's <laughs> it's bad, man. It's bad. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something like uh, right here. Luckily, it would appear that uh, gears and steel plates. Oh, that's why. I was wondering why I couldn't do that. Or like, cause that, uh, sorry, the middle line is going to be used for something, uh, probably another iron line. So we can't just like, you know, well, we can, we, if we want to be sloppy, we can, on, honestly, we could do whatever the fuck we want if we want to be sloppy, but we're still under the impression that we're trying to get the base going nicely. So, um, which doesn't always happen, but you know, so here's what we're going to do. So steel, I'm going to come through here. Kind of like down here somewhere. This is kind of this is kind of nice how this works out though. Uh, yeah, just like that. There you go. There, there's your other two materials that we need. So steel and but and that are coming over here. I know I have these lights and I I just don't use them at all. But yeah. So usually I just make engine units at the source, uh, and the reason for this is, uh, fuck yourself, I don't know. Uh, you have to do this. I, I, I don't really know why I, I do that. It's just, I don't, I, I prefer not making uh, steel. Uh, I, like, engine units are only used in just a handful of things. We don't really need a lot of them, so. Anyways, here's your engine units. Here they come. I'm going to just make one more line here. Because we're actually going to need this a little bit later. For electric engines. Units or whatever the fuck, so. There you go. I'll make a couple more. So now you're going to notice that these things are going to start uh, pooping out blue science. Uh, very soon. Yeah, there you go. Blue science. So this is incredibly slow science for us. Uh, because it just... The materials required for this is just off the charts um i mean we're already starting to run out of some resources for stuff but you know it's the kind of how we're gonna have to do this uh, but luckily we do have the ability to make construction bots now but i think that we're gonna maybe have to save that or maybe not i don't know maybe, maybe we have time for this 
So here's flying robot frames, and this eventually feeds into construction bots, which I think I did do, yeah. So construction bots just require a flying robot unit frame, uh, flying frame and two electronic circuits. Um, so it's not too bad. But the flying construction bots, so they require uh, electric engine units and two batteries, things like that. And the ele electric engine units require 15 lubricant. This is actually something you cannot make by hand. You actually need lubricant for it. Um, you need the, you need the good old lube. Um, so fortunately for us though, we can actually go make it from another place, uh, nearby. Uh, we just have to bring some engine units with us. So we're not really interested in, I'm, I'm actually not going to use turrets anymore. We're going to just put these all over here because I'm, I'm actually done with turrets. We're, we're, we're just, we're not using turrets anymore. I'm done with turrets. Because uh, it's it's clearly not a strategy that's working in the slightest. Um, we can't we can't afford to use them anymore. Because they, we've we're at the point in the game where they're just they're not going to do us any good anymore. Even with upgrades, it just doesn't matter. So we're going to have these piercing rounds here. Actually, let's just put more rounds in here. Actually, I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna take this stuff and I'm just gonna put it like all throughout right here. All right, modular armor first. Okay. So we're gonna actually really quickly, uh, we're gonna make an electrical engine. So what we need for electrical engines is green chips and some other shit. We're gonna have to go repair that. But we're over there, we're gonna do that too. So electrical engine units, uh, lubricant, that's it, okay. So I don't, I'm not really interested in spending a lot of resources, on, or sorry, making some elaborate system with um, making electrical engine units, because it is actually a much later game thing to make uh, construction bots on a more permanent basis. So we actually really don't need it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just make it more temporary. So I'll show you how that's gonna work. Because the thing is, we, we actually need two things with, uh, with blue science. We need advanced oil processing. That's extremely important because look, look, look our, our, this is almost done again. Like we're, we're, we're never ending just using up all this crap to uh, to make things like this. Because, like we're, we have to continuously make um, places to, to store the oil when we, it would be much better just to crack it down into what we need. So we kind of need to go in that direction. I'm just like removing some of the stuff here. That's the very first thing that's important. Um, I also need steel because everything there is running up. Because like that's that's how we solve our oil problems is we just continuously make more of it. We just find other places to store it all the time. It's like eh, it's bad. So that's the first thing. Uh, let's get ourselves one of these things. All right. So I'm gonna once again I'm gonna ex kind of extend the life of. Um, our uh, oil supplies and we're just gonna add some more uh, things to the side. Let's see how the power's been doing over the last like... Uh, you actually see the spikes here in usage so it, it sometimes goes to full but it's generally pretty good. Yeah you can see kind of spikes there. Um, by the end of this we're probably gonna need one more line of uh, furnaces but that's fine for now. So this will now add a little bit more storage for that. So we don't have to care about that. And so lubricant. Lubricant is something that uses just heavy oil. That's all it does. And so we can just kind of, we can literally just plug it in right here. Doesn't even matter. And then we have a, a station here to make electrical engine units. It has now an input for uh, electrical engine units. And then we just kind of throw in as much as we can of everything. And it gets put into like a nice little box uh, when it's done. And this is how we make electrical engine units, at least for now. And then flying robot frames, I don't, I don't know what that needs. We probably should also make those not by hand, because that requires 20 seconds of time. So that will require batteries, steel plates, electronic circuits, and uh, some other stuff. So, I mean, engines are used for a fair bit of things, like... But they're not used for things necessarily that we need to have uh, on a bus. So it's just kind of the way I usually do things. Um, and in, in the particular case of right now, which is that we're, we're like literally having issues. Um, we're having a lot of issues actually. 
uh, like with, with like like iron. Look at look at the look at this fucking iron supplies. Like this is this is one of the problems right here. Like we just we need we need resources. So this is like it's making gears and not diverting to things like uh, steel, which is pretty bad actually. Um, things like that. It's particularly awful. So we can do something like this, maybe. No, we can't. I don't know. I don't know what to do besides just manually feeding a lot of these furnaces. But you know, it's just uh, we don't have any. We don't have enough stuff. We don't have enough iron coming in. And it's weird because we have the three furnaces we do have are going at like all the time. But it's just like you know, iron is being diverted into some other areas here too. You know, so it's like. But we are making turrets. How many turrets do we have in the box right now? We have another four, which is literally atrocious. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna stop using so much iron over here. So some of it will now get to through here. We're gonna reduce our amount of gears being produced, which is probably not the best idea. But I mean, we have a lot, so I don't know. that's the problem is like we've we've at this is this is the culprit right here by the way this motherfucker right here eats 20 things of iron uh 10 iron gears and this is like this happens every two seconds and this is why blue science is actually the worst thing imaginable it is actually horrible so you know this is uh this is bad let me just let me just put it to you that way we're gonna just give it a bunch of resources right now. I was I was not kidding when I said blue. This is why we don't do blue science usually. But the, you see, now that we have this going, it's actually not that bad. Okay, we need to go fix that. So that's essentially blue science for you. Um, I don't think I have much else to show off. It's just gonna do. Uh, I, I think I was gonna do some of the the frames for the. Um, uh, I was going to do some flying robot frames. So I think I need, what else do I need for this? Steel and cover plates. So we'll just get some steel off the line right now. So, you know, we're, we're diverting our resources really thinly here. Uh, and this is for... This is for iron lines, which we don't even have a lot of iron left anymore. So as soon as the iron is done, we're gonna be pretty much going straight into uh, trains, and we're gonna we're gonna train over the materials that we need. So it looks like some things died here, but it's okay. It looks like they're actually starting to hit the wall here too from this weird angle. But like we actually need like a great deal of uh, resources here. I actually don't know why that thing disappeared. There might be another nest to the side there. Yeah, there is actually right here. But like I said before, we're done dealing with the nest that way, so we're not doing that anymore. All right, we got modular armor. Uh, at least I'll leave you off with uh, me getting modular armor. Uh, and we will start... Uh, I, I don't know where it is. Roboport. This is, you, can, you can actually look things up. You get robot work flying speed, which is actually, this is actually a really nice upgrade. Uh, but not something we need right now. Um, we need personal roboport, but for that we need solar panels. And I just realized that we did, never did at any point. We, we did not do solar panel technology, so it actually needs to happen first. I forgot that it's not powered through the laughter of children. It's actually powered through solar. Um, good times. Intense shit, man. Let me tell you. What was I about to do? I forgot what I was about to do. Oh, yeah, I was gonna make a uh, modular armor for you guys. Oh, here we go. We have enough for it. That required a lot of steel plates. Uh, probably all the steel plates that I really wanted to spend on this. So you can see I wasn't shitting around when I said I, I really don't like being wasteful in this. Oh, we have plastic bars for some reason. Oh, I could put that in the, one of these machines here. It's just a, it's the iron flow is horrible right now, really bad. Uh, but yeah, what are you gonna do? I think we're having petroleum issues now with red shifts, but that's okay. 
as uh all in due time, my friends. I think it's also because the sulfur is eating through a lot of it too, but that's fine. It's being shared, but we need to do oil processing as well. Um, this, ha this happened pretty early. This is happening pretty late, honestly. Evolution's almost 0.6 now. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to do one last thing. All right, we're going to make the flying robot frames. So the engine units are almost completely done. We have like 26 of them. So um, usually what I, this is what I like to do. I just like to make an abundance of uh, resources for this stuff. We need one more. All right, so this is going to make flying robot frames right here. So we put in the batteries that we have, put in the steel that we have, and then we put in the green chips that we have. So this will take a little bit of time to do, but it will work eventually. And, it'll, and so we can just leave this here and when we come back here, it'll have flying robot frames and then we can make construction bots really easily, um, which we're gonna need. Also, this doesn't, this is not actually done yet. I didn't even realize that this is not actually completely done with. So we have a good amount of coal now as well. Um, so I, I don't know. It's one of those things we can start thinking about, like another line of uh, uh, four turrets. But this is generally like I found this to be enough. Like you haven't actually noticed my power, my like you can see the spikes here. It doesn't actually depower my factory at the at this current time. Uh, but when we get up to when we get up there, we'll get up there, and then uh, we'll have to think about uh, how we're going to power that kind of stuff. So I think I've spent enough time here. Uh, it's kind of a longer episode, but uh, I mean, it's just the matter of blue science. It's how blue science goes. So, I mean, we're gonna need more science a little bit later, but you know, for now this is pretty good. So uh, thanks a lot for tuning in guys. And uh, uh, I guess we'll, we're not gonna, I think maybe I'll just wait until solar energy is done. Cause this is like a, one that needs a bit of time, I guess to do kind of the nature of the beast uh solar power just needs time so oh yeah there's one other one there's one other thing i want to uh, iterate on which is the upgrades for turrets so uh i i've never really explained this a lot but so there's there's two upgrades for laser turrets uh th these are just lazy this is just things you can put into your armor uh, i'll show you what modular armor does maybe right after so you get turret damage you get turret shooting speed. So you can see this upgrades actually for a fair bit of time. This one's actually an infinite upgrade too. Uh, so the very first thing I'll say is that laser turret shooting speed is a trap. It is absolutely a trap and you do not want to do it. And the reason for that is um, laser, if you upgrade their speed of shooting, sure, they'll do technically more damage, but they'll also use more power uh, because they're shooting more often. So if you have ammo problems and I, maybe it's not that big of an issue for me because i have i'm just gonna make more steam engines uh so maybe actually i will do it anyways but in, in certain scenarios if you're running off of accumulators it can be such a bad thing because you cannot reverse this uh but laser turret damage is also like very very good so we're gonna probably want that too and this is like flamethrower damage and some other stuff so uh but yeah that's kind of where we sit right now um it looks like though that we have a bit of issues here with uh, petroleum still, so we're also going to need to do something about that. But that will be uh, actually. Let's see what is there. What's the, what's the problem here? All right, so it's still going. It's just like oh, there is a problem here. Let's go solve that issue. And so the modular armor is essentially this. Also, by the way, I showed you this. Is now you can now put things into the armor that help you out. Uh, either defensive things or something else, uh, but we all only can run off of solar power, so it's actually a really terrible idea right now for us to do anything else with that right now. Okay, so there is a serious issue here. Oh, fuckers. Found the problem, guys. Found the problem. They destroyed this. This is what I mean. When the wall comes up, then we're going to have everything handled. Everything will have be handled. So we don't have to worry about it anymore. How many flying robot friends are we up to? Six. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
I don't mind using up the, uh, the rest of these energy units. But yeah, I'll resume after solar energy is basically done. So thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. And uh, bye. High intensity gameplay.